here's the kismet. So I was going to open a store. I was listening to NPR. I got scared because they were like, all oh, small businesses are failing. The economy is in the tank. So I'm like, oh God, maybe I shouldn't have a store. What can I do? And so I was like, maybe I'll do it like this. But I literally told three people like on a Tuesday. I think I might buy a camper or a bus or something like that. Literally the same day, like that night, he texts or he sends me an email. He's like, I found this bus. He's like, I thought of you when I saw it. So I contact the guy that night. I go to look at the bus on Wednesday. Went and took another couple friends back on Friday and they were like, yeah, it's a solid bus. The guy is driving me around, taking on a test drive. He knows a friend of mine who lives in Nashville. Because I'm friends with her, he knocks $500 off the price, <laughs> gets it a mission for me, drives it to me. Like, I got the idea Tuesday, I had the bus three days later. Because I had saved money because I was gonna do a storefront. So, um, yeah, I mean, I had the money and I, I paid for the bus. There's this one really complicated parking lot, and I just parked my bus near that parking lot before I actually had a store on it, so I didn't feel like anything was gonna get stolen. And I just literally drove it around this parking lot, around all these turns, and just kind of got used to the turning radius. And, you know, because everything happened so fortuitously and so quickly, I didn't have time to, like, go, oh my god, is this a good idea, you know? <laughs> it was just like, okay, this is what this is what you're in for. You're doing the right thing. I got to see a lot of friends. Like, I built a lot of relationships with people, so I had a lot of recurring people come by. I sort of think it creates, like, a mall mentality. Like, we're instead of, like, one little thing, it's, like, sort of, like, a a larger community sort of thing for people to look at. So we sort of feed off each other, like we keep our prices really competitive. You know, if somebody's trying on something with uh, me and they'll be like, oh, that looks really good, and I'll say the same thing. So, you know, I think everybody just wants everyone to be successful and they buy stuff for me, I buy stuff from them. I started Anatomy Arts with seed money from my aunt and my uncle, more so my aunt because she's a Delta and she was having a party, a wine tasting party actually, with a bunch of her sorors. She wanted to give them like little gift bags when they left and she knew that I made products so I made like some lip glosses, little body butters, things like that. They tried out my things, they were like, well, where can we get this, where can we get that? Yeah. And that's kind of how Anatomy Arts was birthed. For this Christmas, my aunt just ordered like 50 lip glosses for her sorors. I have an entire catalog of scents that I created. Spicy, they're orange, vanillas, chocolates, they're all cream. Wheat germ oil, safflower oil, grapeseed oil, castor oil. The essential oils, they're more like a scent because they come directly from like the lime. You can smell it. A cedar, rosemary, lime, and mix those together. There are lots of ways of offering your products. I sell in a store at the Owings Mills Mall called Silk Cosmetics, a boutique on Howard Street called Soul to Soul. I wouldn't do anything for sale, but I looked at someone's nasty feet. I was thinking in about three years, uh, maybe opening a little storefront, maybe even near the Charm City Yoga place. My aunt's retired. She's looking for something to do. And while I'm at work, she can run the store. I can have like a small kitchen and make the product there and move production from the house to the store. It's going through a regentrification process. The people that are moving into the neighborhood, this is the type of thing that they like. They like specialty items. I'm not trying to compete with Walmart. I get most of my business from just wearing my products, being out, and people saying, oh my God, you smell wonderful. <laughs> and it kind of goes from there.